Hello, my name is Rainer Hanekamp. This is Engineers with the latest updates from the Angular community in 100 seconds every week. Micro frontends is quite a fascinating topic. Some projects require them, some want them but don't need them, and Angular does not officially support them. Jonathan Jolin wrote now an article which gives you a holistic overview over micro frontends what kind of technologies we have at the moment, but also in the past. For example, in Webback, it was module federation. Now with the ES build, we can say the browser natively supports it via import maps. Jonathan also touches upon setting up the development environment, how to integrate it into the CI system, and also what strategies we have when it comes to deployment. He ends by suggesting that mono repositories and micro frontends don't have to be contradictions, especially if your tooling like Inex supports it. The monthly Q&A session with Jeremy and Mark from the Angular team took place. Jeremy, being the Angular tech lead, tends to give very clear and straightforward answers. So when he was asked if we should start using signals. Using signals is the way to go. It makes your application ready to take advantage of future optimizations. It lets you use computed, so you don't have to imperatively update things in ng on init. You have the ability to write effects for doing things when only certain expression changes. Interestingly, he called the signals in developer preview, but that's only because the effect function is in developer preview. So developer preview means like, we're pretty confident in the stability of it, right? But we just want to reserve some time to get feedback, and maybe make yeah. small API changes before it becomes stable. And that's it. Wishing you a nice weekend. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.